Kaskulba University of Science and Technology, Mikhalia USDM, Kiling Kabadan Haribhoi District, Daka Jinkamen Minta Kasni, Kilapulong Yaka Jingliakamen Kabakarpang, Kabade Hadin, Baka PA Sangma International Medical College and Hospital, Kalayo Yaka Jingmanjur, Naka National Medical Commission, Naka Binta Banpleno Yaka Tega Jakapuli, Naka Binta ka Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, MBBS, Kabadon, Chispa San Pautaligi Sib. Ha kanika si Kurpang, katika school ba, la wanru banyasaki lang, da ka jingyadon lang, kalok ulit, porno e sangma, kasura dini ki sangma, umentri rang ba, ka jirla, pat ubaday ukhun jong porno e sangma, ukanrat ki sangma, ka Mintri Sorkar, ka Dr. Amperin Lingdo, Uemeli, ka Shila Ubalajin, Kupar Sindram, ki Samla Puli, ki Professor, pat Kentop, u Chancellor, ka USDM, u M. Hawk, na Lord Kiwikiwe, ki Riu Paukman. Haba ay jingkran hakini ka Sengi, kumukongsan u Konrad ki Sangma Mintri Rangba ka Jila, u Lapan Pao, ya ka Jinkman, ka Bakraw, baka Tay ka Skulba, kala ainam ya ka kerteng ukpa jong u ya ka take international medical college and hospital but ha ka jok por ulak kula ba ka sarkar kan ai ka jingkshan na ka benta mandang kan tiu ya ka take jaka puli doctor but ka jaka ai jing sumar khnang ba kan ai shisha ka jing men toi na ka benta ki samla patru ki pat ba jong ka jala hi baro ka wei
where he took the bath after a critical surgery. And lots of surgeons are there in this surgery. So, but when he is safe, and we all doctors from the PSI and Intentional Medical College sitting here, you are all efficient, you are all experienced that how this baby must be taken care of. So that one day we can say, we can feel proud that it is not only main intentional, it is we have to show through our excellence that we can attract the people from the government, from the government community who are coming here for the health care service. I must express the gratefulness to the bankers, the State Bank of India. I have not visited a single time in the State Bank office. The entire office has landed there now in our university office and then it will 150 crores loan within a short span of time. I am very grateful to Netflix, not just the development financial institution, the motives are sitting here in the right, and we could not fulfill lots of criteria, but seeing our background, seeing the strength of USPM, and I need not explain that what is the strength of USPM, just before five minutes you have seen that what is the actual strength of USPM, and it is our diversity, it is our inclusive, and because of that, this university is growing and the support of everyone. We got lots of achievements in this campus. We got day day. We got lots of achievements. This is the 64 students led many examinations, English and CSM. But the after baby, the approval of PSMI International Medical College, the happiness and the kind of other kind of emotional attachment I have seen from the empty. Where they have no interest, but they are, everyone is smiling, everyone has an emotional kind of uh, attachment, and everyone celebrating. So I come back to make this function. That have today made USGM, and I again repeat, made USGM one of the most uh, important and most performing education institutions in our state and in the region of Northeast and in the country as a whole. So yes, I think the Hawk and Mr. Hawk does deserve a round of applause. So we should all give them a round of applause for the work in education that he has done. And uh, on behalf of uh, our family, my mother and all of us, it's really something very touching to, to see that uh, Mr. Hawk has made this medical college after late in Yasama. I think this is another very important uh, uh, quality I've seen in uh, Mr. Hawk is that when he gets connected with somebody, the years may pass, but he doesn't forget. Uh, you have seen Mr. Balajit syndrome this year. He's our honorable emily, son of late Don Duparoy. The chief minister who gave the USTM the bill and the, uh, you know, the act to set up this university and not more than that gave the entire permission, spacing, everything. And uh, Mr. Balajit Sindhan is sitting here with us. Though Dr. Don Kuparoy is not here, I'm sure uh, he is looking down to the heart and uh, I'm very happy to see that the seeds that he had sown in 2008, or the nurturing that he had allowed, and the space that he had given, has today led to an institute like this, which is today shaping the lives of our youngsters, shaping their future, and more importantly, shaping the future of our region, our state, and the country as a whole. P.A. Samhaji was a person who believed in investing in our youth. He used to always tell us that the greatest investment a government can do is to invest in its youth. Because the returns that come out of that is just, you know, unlimited. You just don't know what kind of returns you may get. Because it's unlimited. That's how great 
investments in the youngsters is, is what he is somebody doing. These are his values that he had. And he instilled those values in us to ensure that when we also came in as a government, education was one of the most important things for us. There are a lot of challenges. I'm not saying that we've been able to solve everything. But the focus, the decisions that we take today are much easier for us. Because there are the principles and values that have been set in our mind, in our hearts, allows us to make those decisions much quicker. Because we know what we want to do. And Mr. P.S. Samba was very instrumental in setting those values for us and instilling those values in us. This AT model has given you a small glimpse of what late P.S. Samba's values were. I would encourage Boksa that in the campus, you know, you can have one small hall or a small hallway dedicated to Dr. Don Cooper Roy, which talks about his life, what he was, what he wasn't, what he did, what contributions he made, what values he believed in. Similarly, P.S. Samaji, hall. I know you have made the whole building and a medical college in his name, you don't need a hall. But the story, the story of P.S. Samma, it's not just a name, it's the values and the principles that P.S. Samaji believed in. A.T. Mondadi to shared with you a glimpse of what he was. Many of you will not know that when late P.S. Ambaji was uh, studying in, in, in uh, St. Anthony's in, uh, in Shillong, and you know how cold Shillong used to be that time, he had nothing but one half sweater. That's it. And as far as I remember, my mother and uh, you know, he used to tell us that he had, uh, I mean, two shirts and two pants, that's it, for his entire college career. That's all. And in the weekend, I know he will not like it when I tell you this, but uh, in the weekend, he used to be in the towel, washing the, the, that shirt and the pants he had, the two pairs, or uh, the one pair, sorry, uh, in two pairs, shirt and pants. Just the name. Yes, P.S. Samaji, you know, it was somebody who has been a very, very important person politically for our state, for our region and the country. But the values that he had, the principle he had, I believe, can be a great source of inspiration for the youngsters who are here today to learn from the humble background he came, the humility that he expressed, and yet in whatever challenge he faced in life, we always overcame those challenges with a smiling face. And I think that is a testament of his leadership. And I hope that uh, the college and all of you will learn, and not just from his name, as I said, but from the history and from the person that he was and the values that he believed in. Having said that, health sector is very, very crucial. In the last seven years, we have faced numerous challenges in health. And again, you know, Meghalaya has not had a great history, I should say, when it came to different uh, infrastructures and facilities for health. So it's been a great challenge for us for multiple reasons. And I don't want to get into all of that, but it's been challenging. But again, from day one, we have always believed that saving even a single life matters. Being able to give that small care to the person who needs it at the time when they need it the most matters more than giving lakhs and crores when they don't need it. And these small values have guided us to ensure that we start investing in healthcare. Our health minister has spoken about the future that we are going to work on, yes? Things are changing. We are seeing a lot of improvement things. But let me share you where we started off with. And when we started off, we had a lot of challenges. But now, in a matter of seven to eight years, you'll be happy to know that Meghalaya has today increased the money we spend on health to become one of the highest spenders in terms of healthcare, to per capita or to the GDP calculation, 
we spend about 8% plus of our expenditure on budgets on healthcare, which is the highest in the country. The highest in the country. So we spend the highest amount of our budget compared to any other state on healthcare. Number two, we realize that it's not about just spending money. When you spend money, it has to be having the impact that you desire to have when you're spending the money. And hence we realize that we need to improve the overall infrastructures at the critical level, at the village level, PHC, CHC, sub-center, and all of those areas. We started investing in those. We realized that we need to keep training our manpower. We've invested in those. We realized that we have less doctors. And hence, we were very excited when medical colleges like this and the Shilong and Tula Medical Colleges were in the pipeline. I can assure you, as our minister has said, that we were going to start the Shilong and the Tula Medical College also very, very soon. We also realized that we need to ensure that medicine is provided to our people at the right time. And uh, change in the medicine policy had to be done. Storages had to be created. Inventing had to be done in the correct manner so that the medicines would reach at the right time with the right quantity for the specific ailments and you know, problems that they face in a systematic manner. And hence we created a complete you know, online system to manage the medicines. So today we have actually a chart that shows us in the last three years, four years, how much of the medicine supply for what particular ailment went up in which particular district. And that is allowing us to make to predict and ensure that when we know June is coming, so in this district, they will require this particular medicine more. So technology is being used today to predict what kind of medicine supply should be given at the right time. We are investing in machines so that people don't have to travel too far to be able to get the kind of, um, you know, the treatment or the diagnosis that needs to be done. We are using technology like, you know, like never before. I was sharing with uh, our finance commission chairman 